All right, hello guys. We are back. I already have my foundation and my powder on because nobody wants to see anybody do that a million times. Um, but I thought we would just sit down and just play with makeup like we usually do. So that's the whole point of this channel. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette today. And I may dip into the ColourPop Whatever palette um, just because it's my favorite and I love it. And I, I just might. I've been feeling the burgundies and the browns, which is weird, but that's what I've been feeling. Even though it's spring, my mirror has there it is. <clears throat> Even though it's spring, um, I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I really haven't been a fan of eyeshadow primers, and I'm trying to give them a second chance. Um, I don't know why. I've just been feeling the need to try them. So I'm just going to do this on most of my eye space up to the brow. And I am going to set it. I don't know. I just I usually don't have a problem with eyeshadow staying on my eyes. The only place I really have a problem with makeup sticking is like right around my nose area. I mean, it always breaks down throughout the day. Um, I'm going to take the shade Chaser from the Naked palette just on that same brush and I'm going to set that into place. Actually, just kidding. We're going to use Ounce, which is the lightest shade. Oh, and it's also sparkly. Well, that's wonderful. This eye look may turn out terrible. All right, so now that we have that done, that was just on a flat Morphe brush. I am going to take this Morphe. It doesn't have a name, but it's like a pointed blender brush. It's like got a point at the tip. And I'm going to take the shade Sauced, which is the third shade in the Naked palette, and just start doing something. I'm wearing my um, Camp Crystal Lake t-shirt from Murder Apparel, so I wanted to do like um, a burgundy kind of eye, even though it's May. I guess I should like zoom y'all in, huh? Okay. We are just going to do that all in our crease. Now I'm going to move on to the shade He Devil, which is like a reddy brown. And I'm again going to dip that right into the crease and I'm not going to blow it up as far as I've been blowing up the other shades. Especially towards this inner corner, I want to really get it down in that crease. And I have hooded eyes, so it's easy to get things down in that crease. You just stick your brush in and wiggle. Okay, that is a start. Now I'm going to take this Morphe Jeffree Star brush. This is a JS5. It's just a big fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to dip into the shade Pink Slip from the ColourPop Whatever palette. I have just been really into this color story lately, the, the burgundies. And I'm going to do this right around what we just did and blow it up just just a little bit. I just want my crease to be really really nicely blended today. Oops, something on my eye. Some of these little brush hairs are shedding. Okay. Then what do I want to use? I think I want to take In Bold from the ColourPop palette, this color, and just start working this in the outer. Let me use a smaller brush. I'm going back to a Morphe M562. It's like a really smallish brush. And I'm going to take In Bold and I'm going to start that just right on this outer portion of my eye. And a little bit into this outer crease. 
just to start preparation for those darker colors that I'm going to put there. Because I'm going to have a, a fairly dark eye today, I imagine. There it was, glitter or something on this brush. Now my eye is extra sparkly, which I guess is fine. Going back to that first brush we used with no additional product, and we are just going to blend that outer corner a little bit. Hopefully buff away some of that glitter that I didn't intend to be there. Hi, Sophie Mae. You here? You hanging out? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I see. Now I'm going to take the shade Ashes in the Naked palette. <clears throat> the shade Ashes right here. You can see it. It's the darkest matte color, and I'm going to take it on this flat Morphe brush. It's very small. It's like a very small packer brush, and I'm going to do this on my outer corner and flick it up a little bit to change the shape of my eye a little, and I've been doing this a lot recently. I think I did it in the last video that I posted. Probably a similar color scheme, too, because this is just what I've been feeling. And then I'm going to duck a little bit of that into that crease here in the center. But make sure it's just real blown out right there. Why are you staring at me? Huh? Did you go eat your breakfast? go back with that first brush that we started using and really just blend that out. I want like a rounded outer V shape. Sophie is tilting her head. I can see it in the corner of my eye like she's following along. Alright. Oh, am I blocking everybody? Why are you jumping up on my chair? <laughs> Sophie has decided to be wild today. Um, I'm going to take the shade Mr. Brightside from the ColourPop palette. It's just a very similar shade, but I want to use it as well on this outer. It's got a little bit more of that red. That reddy purple that I really want. Sophie Mae, what are you doing? She has woke up with a wild hair. Hi! What you doing? Nope. Alright, are we good? No, you ain't never done that before. I don't know what has gotten into you. She just like <clears throat> ripped the cord that my light is attached to. So, sorry about that. The random stop in the video. Alright, I was blending out that Mr. Brightside shade. And I'm not taking too much of this into my inner corner. Um, and what I do have in my inner corner, I've really just got in the crease, not blown out really anywhere else. Alright, we're going to blend a little bit on that eyelid. Okay, yeah, I like that because it's got the more purple and then it's blown out with that ashes shade. I like that. Now to decide what we're going to do on the actual lid part. Let's start out with ounce. That first, the lightest shade from the Naked Heat. And I'm going to take it on my pinky like I always do. Alright. Alright, so that's what we have so far. Do I want to take Tardy from the ColourPop palette? No, that's just going to be too much glitter. And I just said that. Don't want to dip into another palette either. So let's just take Chaser, which is that second shade, and put it on top of this sparkly shade. I like how that looks a little better. And now I'm thinking...
thinking maybe some glitter and maybe a wing because I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. A glitter shade. Let me just dig through this. We could use Stila. Okay, or we could just just try. Oh, okay. I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. Let me put my wing on and I'll be right back. So we are not even gonna zoom in to how bad this winged eyeliner looks. We're just gonna move on to what we did. So I put my wings on, I tight lined my upper and lower waterline with my Rimmel Noir mascara, not mascara, eyeliner. Now I'm gonna take Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy and I'm going to line my wing with it. Hi Sophie May, you coming to watch the train wreck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's okay if you get some on the black eyeliner, because we are just going to cover that up in a minute. Okay. That's as good as that is going to look. I swear other people make that look so easy. Now I'm going to take this really tiny detail liner brush. This is a Jessup 312. And I'm going to dip into a black, just dip into any black shade or if you're using a different color eyeliner, whatever shade matches your eyeliner. And we are going to clean up where some of that glitter got. And then I'm going to take that same black and I'm smudging it underneath the last like corner of my eye. Like that. All right, now that we have done that, I'm going to take that flat packer brush, the small one that we use like on our outer corner, and I'm going to dip into Mr. Brightside from the ColourPop palette, and I'm going to smoke that under just where I put that black. I'm not taking it all the way in. I don't want to look like I got hit in the face. Okay. Um, and then I'm just using a light bone shade to brighten my inner corner because I didn't want to use anything sparkly right there. So just whatever you like to use in your inner corner. And now we're going to use Tarte Big Ego Mascara on the top and bottom. Okay, eyes are eyes are done they are something but they're done and I'm throwing everything all over the place um so let's just do my face and my lips and be done with this little moment right here um oh my brows um so for my brows I usually just use this flat packer brush that I got from Amazon and then just a dark brown shade um so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna fill those in real quick Okay, so that is what we are doing for the eyes. Let us do the face now. <clears throat> um, so I think today I'm going to use this in the balm of your hand palette. I don't think I really ever use it. I got it in a balm like grab bag thing. It was like a mystery bag. So I'm just going to bronze up my face with this Bahama Mama down here. We're just really gonna take it there today. Sophie May. You know, from a distance, these eyes don't look that bad, but when you get up close and you realize how terrible I am at winged liner, and then I tried to double wing. Never try to double wing if you can't even one wing, but here I am doing it. All right. It's bronzed by my hairline. I should probably put my hair up when I do this, but I really just can't be bothered. Let's be honest. So 
since we're just, since we're being honest with each other, can't be bothered. Um, that is good enough for today. We got nothing going on today. I'm going to use this domed Morphe brush that I've been using for blush. And I think I'm going to use Frat Boy in here, which is like the darker pinky blush. Oh, I did not think it was going to be that. I'm just blocking the whole thing up here. One of these days, I'm going to learn how to do this. Okay, well, um, I think to go on top of it, I'm going to use a little bit of NARS Illicit because I just wanted to use this. I just want to use a lot of makeup today, apparently, because I'm just over here doing, just doing unnecessary eyeliner and... Illicit is this shade. If you've never seen it, I'm sure everybody has. It's like a peachy blush. Alright. Make sure that's blended up. So we're good with that. And then for highlighter, I think I'll just use the one in here. It's the Mary Luminizer. I think we'll just use it. Why not? You know, it's a good highlighter. You can't, you can't knock it. It it does the job that it needs to do. I think after this, I'm going to do that all about my palettes tag. They had something similar years and years ago that I watched just recently. Like, it was like my favorite eyeshadow palette tag or something very similar. Um, I don't know who brought it back this time. But I think I'm going to do it while I've got some makeup on. Alright, for lip, I'm not going to go fancy. I am breaking everything today. Um, oh, well, why can't I get into this drawer? What is happening? Alright, um, I'm going to use Too Faced Sugar Cookie on my lips. I'm just going to spray a little Too Faced primer water all over my face and then we are done. This is the look that we did today and it was a disaster from start to finish but I really just wanted to sit and I wanted to play with a lot of my makeup and I wanted to try this MAC base again. I've used it a couple of times but I gotta be honest I'm just not an eyeshadow base person. So I guess if at the end of the day, my eyeshadow is like freaking amazing and is like reapplying itself, then I'll change my mind. But just really not that into it. I mean, it's okay. I'll use it since I have it, but I just don't know that I am the type of person who needs an eyeshadow base. Sure, there's a group of people who, who need that, but it's just, why am I cleaning up my desk while I'm talking to you? Anyway, that is it. That is all for this video. That is the look. If you like it, please give it a like and a subscribe and a comment and all that great stuff. And I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Bye.
All right. I'm just gonna spray a little Too Faced primer water all over my face, and then we are done. This is the look that we did today, and it was a disaster from start to finish, but I really just wanted to sit, and I wanted to play with a lot of my makeup, and I wanted to try this MAC base again. I've used it a couple of times, but I gotta be honest, I'm just not an eyeshadow base person. So I guess if at the end of the day, my eyeshadow is like freaking amazing and is like reapplying itself, then I'll change my mind. But just really not that into it. I mean, it's okay, I'll use it since I have it, but I just don't know that I am the type of person who needs an eyeshadow base. Sure, there's a group of people who, who need that, but it's just, why am I cleaning up my desk while I'm talking to you? Anyway, that is it. That is all for this video. That is the look. If you like it, please give it a like and a subscribe and a comment and all that great stuff. And I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Bye.